Yo, 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 what the deal? It's your boy X.E.L.O. We back at it again, man. If y'all new here to the channel, definitely like, subscribe, hit the bell notification. Y'all know the routine. Y'all know how it goes down. Today I'm going to be walking through some cakewalk stuff. So let's go. All right, so we do have the keyboard set up. So let's actually do a record. Click on this, pull up the piano roll. I'm gonna hit Shift D so I can see the full piano. Quick quantize. I'm gonna hit Q on the keyboard. Let us do an audition. I think I like that. Let's see here. Um, Just downloaded lab, so I'm gonna try one of those uh, labs plugins in here just to kind of see how it goes. All right, so here is labs. It is also um, free plugin from Spitfire Audio. Um, just probably gonna run with the string ensemble. See how that sounds. I'm gonna hit Control and then drag this down. All right, so what I'm gonna do is try to get some uh, bass notes on here as well. Hit control, so pull them down. I'm going to raise the volume. You can use like this little, when you see those little lines going up, you can just pull up and it'll pull all of them up, the volume or velocity. Just another way to do it. Let's uh, speed it up a little. Uh, let's do one one thirty six. or another instrument um, let's do another one and let's do let's do acoustic guitar all right so I'm going to grab this and pull it down go into it and then shift and we are going to actually play this at a little higher octave so I'm gonna hit my uh, page up I have mine set it for my transpose I'm gonna set this to 12 and I'm gonna hit ok and I'm just gonna pull that up so I'm gonna go back up to process 
gonna run cal and we are going to do strum it it'll open um, I'm gonna let's just go to um, let's go to 100 and see how that is all right so you can see it strummed it so basically uses like a hundred milliseconds to give it to strum. Complete control up in here. All right. All right, so I'm going to change this from one shot. PBSR. All right, so I'll put the contact player in there. So I'm gonna just make sure it's tuned. So let's go to audio effects. Gonna go to G tune. I'm gonna move this over to the side. I'm gonna lock it in there, and I'm going to go back into contact and. So let's actually record that. All right. Nothing too spectacular much repeating the notes uh, I'm gonna just uh, quickly quantize this and all right so let's actually and let's um let's go put on the glide so put on the glide on here, what you want to do is go to this measure here. This was, uh, which is like your voice settings. Uh, you want to go up till it gets to legato and you want to put your glide up. I'm going to go about uh, nine milliseconds. And I'm going to leave the pitch bin where it is. Um, it's a real short 808, so I don't know exactly how it'll affect the Eight oh eight itself.
Pull my drum kit, Satilla. actually do it like a time shift to offset the hi-hats a little bit I'm just gonna delete these tracks seeing I'm not using them so that way it'll make more space when you go into your console so you can actually see all the stuff in there. All right, man, that's a real quick laid back trap beat up in Cakewalk. Yo, man, if you haven't liked, subscribe, hit the bell notification, man. I don't know what y'all waiting for, man. Let's do that. But it's your boy x.e.l.o. If you have any like, questions, comments, hit them below in the comment section. I'll try to answer them the best of my ability, all right? Peace. Thank you.